every one of us would love to see our design come to life. Fortunately, prototyping or getting your PCB manufactured is not tough as it sounds. I would like to introduce you guys to JLC PCB, an online platform that will allow you to prototype your PCB boards at very less cost. In this video, I will guide you through the process of ordering your PCBs from JLC PCB. Let's get this started. Every PCB starts with a schematic design. You can choose design suit of your own choice or you can go for Easy EDA, which is a design platform owned by JLC PCB itself. Designing a schematic using Easy EDA will give you two major benefits. Number one, it is a cloud based platform. Anything you design stays in the cloud and you don't have to take the trouble of saving it in your local drive. And number two, design in ECEDA can be ordered from JLC PCB with just a single click. It is as simple as that. For the purpose of demonstration, I am going to stick with Eagle since I am pretty comfortable with it. Here I am working on a plugin module for ESP8266 module which is a single chip Wi-Fi development board. Basically, this board intended for using ESP module easily without much hazards. I am done with my PCB design now. It's pretty much a simple single layer board. Now I need to generate Gerber files for my PCB design. For those who are not aware of what Gerber file actually is, these are file formats used by CAD systems to understand how a PCB should be manufactured. For example, information about number of layers in a PCB or solder mask or silk or drilling points and much more can be interpreted using this Gerber file. So I am going to generate Gerber files now. For that purpose I need to go to CAM processor and there I need to open up a new job and this is a CAM file which I am using to generate my Gerber files. So here it is and I need to choose which which specification should I need to include in my PCB layer. I have chosen everything I need and uh, yeah I need a tree name as well. So here it is and I am going to give process job and once it is done you can see that these new files in the folder and this is Gerber files. Now I need to zip it and put it in a compressed zip format. Uh, because basically uh, uh, JLC PCB will uh, take the Gerber files only in zip format. Once your Gerber file is ready, open up your browser and visit jlcpcb.com slash code. Here in this page, you will find an option to upload your Gerber file. If you are still struggling on how to generate Gerber files, I strongly recommend you to visit this link. In here, you will find number of articles that can help you to generate your Gerber file from different design platforms. Now let me upload my Gerber file here. Once it is uploaded, you can see nice little preview of this board here. Here is the top layer and here is the bottom layer. Here is a set of instructions that can you, you, you can use to uh, tailor your board as per your need. And you can also choose the quantity of board you need. I am going to stick with 10. And as far as the color, I want my board to be red. So I am going to go with red here. Apart from this, you also have an online Gerber viewer. This Gerber viewer will help you to see um, the look and feel of your board pretty much in detail. I am going to view my board in red color. Once you are happy with the look and feel of your board, then you can go ahead and save your order to the cart. In the next page, you can check out your order using your payment information. That's the end of ordering process using JLC PCB. Remember, you need to have an account in JLC PCB to order PCB boards from them. One week later. 
It took around a week for the package to arrive and it came in a neat little box with boards well wrapped. Let's take a look at one of these boards. The solder mask is red in color and add a great look to the board. This is the top layer and here is the bottom one. The silk screen over the top layer is pretty neat. When flipping the board over, you can observe the copper traces going back and forth to make the connection. My design has very less clearance for the copper traces and the ground plane. If you take a closer look, I believe you can observe that little clearance between them. Despite this, JLC PCB has done a really great job in laying out these traces and ground plane perfectly. And I am really happy with the way JLC PCB has manufactured this board and gave a nice finish to it at a very low cost. Assembly of the board is now done and it works great. The overall experience with JLC PCB is quite easy, hassle free and most importantly cost effective. Check out their capabilities page to see if your requirement fits in their criteria and order your PCBs. Hope this video was informative to you. If you have tried out JLC PCB, do share your experience in the comment section below. Until next time, see you guys and happy making.